Yes, fucking hello, it's Chopper here. Now, while I've been out and about lately, uh, I've seen people wearing masks the wrong fucking way. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick guide on how to wear a mask and not look like a total dumb fuck. Now, and I cannot stress this enough, I'm not here to tell you to wear a mask or not. Uh, you want to get into that argument? Go shout at a fucking tree, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I will say to all those fucking idiots who think wearing a mask suffocates you, if fabric stops people breathing, how come we don't find hundreds of dead children in blanket forts? Uh, do you fucking panic when you put a shirt on that you're going to get stuck halfway through and fucking suffocate? Uh, I can't breathe! And if you're whining about having to wear a mask, here's a list of people who already wear masks and have found a way to shut the fuck up about it. Nurses, surgeons, spray painters, demolition workers, ninjas, the Ku Klux Klan, firefighters, bush rangers, those guys who dress up as cartoon characters at theme parks, and people who give manicures. That's right, the people who whinge about having to wear a mask are literally weaker than ladies who paint fingernails. But if you are going to wear a mask, please don't wear it like a fucking idiot. Wearing a mask wrong to stop you from fucking catching corona is like someone asking you to put a condom on. Uh, so you just bloody unroll it uh, and then fucking drape it sideways over your erection like a fucking sock on a clothesline. Uh, that's not how it works. You deserve a fucking disease. For example, if you wear a mask on just one ear, you might be what the doctors refer to as a dumb fuck. <laughs> you got so close to doing it right. Uh, you've proven that you own a mask, and now you've just been a fucking asshole on purpose. Uh, the only excuse for this is that your other ear suddenly fell off, uh, which means not only should you worry about corona, but also leprosy. Then uh, there's wearing your mask with your nose out. Ooh, ooh. If you only cover your mouth with a mask, you're basically saying, I'm a giant mouth breather. In which case, you should be living in your parents' basement, helping your mum do jigsaws, while she breastfeeds you, you giant fucking man baby. Think of your nostrils as little mouths in your nose. They're all fucking connected. Then, there's my personal favourite, wearing it on your neck. Unless you're one of those pack-a-day throat cancer dudes with a little bloody neck hole. Fucking hole. There's no need to wear a mask on your neck. If you do have a little bloody neck hole though, fucking hello, uh, you should wear a fucking mask on your bonus mouth uh, and on your regular face holes. Also, to the people who wear masks while they're driving in their car alone, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, the only reason to wear a mask when you're alone in the car is that you just farted and your windows don't go down. So, there you have it. Yes, this age of accepted mask wearing is a real bonus for people who like to fucking rob places, people with ugly mouths, and ladies who couldn't be bothered dealing with their fucking moustache right now. Uh, so don't whinge, try to see the positives, and if you do wear a mask, just fucking do it right, or don't fucking bother. Ooh. Yes, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. As I mentioned at the top, uh, I really don't give a fuck if you want to have a bloody big whinge about fucking masks and personal freedom. Go and fucking do it somewhere else. Uh, this is just a bloody comedy sketch, so don't fucking take it too seriously, you fucking dickheads. Uh, and, and if anyone does leave a stupid comment underneath this video, uh, feel free to fuck them up. I mean, really go hard, you know what I mean? Uh, a bit of fucking mob justice. Anyway, uh, as I've mentioned a couple of times, uh, I have had to fucking cancel or postpone almost every fucking single show of the Silence of Tour. Uh, at this stage, all the fucking New Zealand dates have been pushed back to March next year. Uh, but there is one fucking uh, shimmering ray of hope, and that's my fucking Sydney show uh, that's coming up in December at the fucking Factory Theatre. So if you're in Sydney, uh, come and fucking see it. It's going to be fucking excellent. Uh, if not, I'll fucking catch you in the next video. Have a fucking good one. Yeah.